Hello there, wonderful world of YouTube. It is your girl Swims to Gal coming at you guys with a different type of video. In this video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into Ferris Wheel Press's most recent release, which was the Glistening Glass and Blue Yosemite. In this video, we're just going to be focusing on Glistening Glass. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything from Ferris Wheel Press, make sure to use code SWIM. You guys can get a free ink charger set, which was shown just right now, with the purchase of any full-sized bottle or pen, I believe, and notebook. Those retail for about $15, so if you guys are interested in getting those, again, code SWIM will get you a free ink charger set with your purchase. Now, you guys are going to see a lot of just like videoing or me moving around. I had actually done this as a talk through, but the camera I used audio was not the best. So I'm doing a voiceover now here. I was just simply saying that the reason that the other side of the notebook is covered is because I use this notebook specifically for journaling and I just wanted to make sure that my journaling thoughts were kept for myself and to myself. What you guys are seeing right now is the beautiful unicorn that they released for the glistening glass this is part of their once upon a time collection it is inspired by my favorite disney princess or just princess in general which is cinderella now one of my favorite parts of the once upon a time unicorns is the information that it has of the inks it tells you the base color which in this case is blue gray sheening which is red shimmer which is gold and in this case we don't have any shading which is why it says no answer i feel that this makes these particular inks very user friendly just because it lets you know exactly what you're working with and as you guys can see there, there's a beautiful detail of the glass slipper on the unicorn, and below it, it reads, When midnight strikes, look past the ostentatious glow of jewels, as at the stroke of twelve, all the glitz and the glam will melt away. Your true self remains in the glittering reflection, showing you your true potential if you choose to embrace it. I think it's a very lovely quote, very, very cute. And as with all of their launches, the unicorn was designed specifically for the glistening glass or the Cinderella inspiration. So it's not going to look like any of the other unicorns they have. It's just like the formatting is similar. This here is the small 20 milliliter bottle that comes inside of that unicorn. Very beautiful, very small. I love that the smaller sizes have the sticker at the bottom with the initials of the shade names or the ink names just because it makes them a lot easier to identify when you guys are looking for a particular shade and as you guys can see right there the beautiful gold shimmer is coming through glitter and shimmer does tend to settle at the bottom so before using any of those shades just make sure you guys give your bottle a good shake or a roll if you guys want to prevent any you know air bubbles from forming here I was just saying that I was going to try to use a folded nib to ink the pages or swap or swatch on the pages I mean to say as it does give me the best payoff for the colorings and I'm going to be swatching on three different papers. The first one's going to be my regular journal which is the one I use on a daily or try to anyways which is the Loic term my apologies if I'm not pronouncing that correctly the second one is a Tomoy River paper and the third one is an Archer and Olive paper now what I'm gonna be pulling into view right now is a swatch ring that I made myself a video will be coming on how I did it in the future hopefully within the next week or two and this is just a swatch of the glistening glass on watercolor paper that I did and I'm just showing you guys how beautifully it glows and glimmers and how you guys can see the blue really pulling through as well as some of the gray in the base and then just truth being told I don't really see a lot of the red sheening when you do full swatches it's a little bit more apparent when you're just right with the pen and as I said before we're gonna give it a good little shake before we go in for the swatch here I tried to dip the folded nib in there and I was like all right maybe if I just tilt it a little bit I can get some into the nib spoiler I did not 
which is why you guys are going to see me swap out to our mm, ever trusted Q-tip. I did zoom you guys in a little bit closer just so we can see the ink as it goes on to the different paper types. So right here you're going to see where I fail with the nib. I didn't really get a lot of ink so we're just going to go ahead and swap out and switch out and keep her rolling. Cotton swaps to the rescue, guys. Cotton swaps to the rescue. Again, the one that I just swatched on was the Tamoy River. Here I'm just swatching directly onto the Loictorn paper. And below I have the Archer and Olive 160 GSM paper as well. Now, just taking a glass dip pen, I'm going to go ahead and do some line work or just some simple strokes on all the paper types as well as writing the ink name under the swatch just so we can get a better idea of how it looks in writing. And again, before I wrote or dipped my pen in, I gave it a, a good shake, a little bit of a swirl just to make sure that the glitter and shimmer was incorporated into when I dipped the pen. I will say this though, if you let the glitter kind of settle down at the bottom and you want more of a just base color, you can dip the pen in and get a very, very minimal amount of the shimmer. So it's like you're getting two inks in one really when you let those you know form at the base if you're going to be inking these up i do recommend using a medium or higher nib size preferably i would say bold because that's where you get the best payout you get to see a lot of the shimmer come through and when you guys are going to again ink these into pens just make sure that you're inking them into a pen that's going to be easier to clean as the shimmer particles do like to kind of lay within the little funnel area Here I was just talking about how the glitter was really pulling through on the Loic term. It looked really nice. I was discussing how you can see a lot more of the blue than you can the gray. And I was like basically gushing over the color because it does look very beautiful on the Loic term paper. And I'm pretty sure that this color is going to be in my currently inked for me. It's just very very beautiful here was a shameless plug of me writing swims to gal which is my handle for my instagram my tiktok and my youtube channel which is where you guys are watching me at right now a little heart and a little tiny flower those are my favorite things to doodle now here i'm just picking up the notebook to give you guys a better view of how the shimmer slash the sheening kind of pulls through like i said before i don't really see a lot of the red sheen when it's like a full swatch i you can see a little bit on the writing especially where i wrote red but i saw no sheening on any of the three paper types with the swatch itself out of all of the paper types I used, I would say that the glitter pulled the best on the Archer and Olive paper. I will say that in the Archer and Olive paper, it made it look like the ink had a shading quality to it, which shading is just when you have like, you know, some lighter patches to some darker patches. But the glitter did pull through the best on that one, which had me a little shooketh, but in a good way. On the Tamoya River paper, it was a lot more consistent in coloring. As you guys can see, there's not a lot of variation on the ink, so you don't have a lot of darker areas versus lighter areas. It's very much so consistent. On the Loitorm, the shimmer also pulled through quite beautifully, if I do say so myself. 
and the color was probably the darkest on that paper type and again it was just as consistent as the Tomoe River but again the blue slash the blue gray was a lot darker on the Leuchtturm. And then here we're just kind of panning out to get a quick overview of all th three swatches together. And even just looking through it from the camera point of view, you can see the, how much that glitter pulls through on the Archer and Olive paper. Like, just look at the way the light is hitting it. Chef's kiss, I tell you. Chef's kiss. And then I was making sure to give the other swatches equal time with the light just so you guys can see again how the shimmer plays on all three paper types a little bit more fairly. And then here I was just rating which one I liked the most which I believe loading term overall ranked number one. Archer and Olive ranked number two, and surprisingly, Tomoe River, which is my favorite thing to write on with fountain pens, ranked number three for this particular shade of ink. Now this is my first time attempting to do a deep dive on inks. I do have a fairly good collection of inks, so if you guys would like to see a closer look of any of the inks you guys have seen me swatch on my TikToks, have seen me post on maybe uh, my currently ink videos, I would be more than happy to go ahead and post those for you. Just make sure you guys drop the comment down below and let me know. I just couldn't get over the Lloyd term swatch because I keep going back to it. But like I said, very beautiful blue. This is an ink that anybody would love to have in their collection, especially if you're into shimmering inks. I, you know, anywhere you guys can get it that it's available, I would go ahead and shop there. Again, if you guys choose to go the Ferris wheel press route, go ahead and use code SWIM. It'll get you a free ink charger set with your purchase. And I would receive a small commission at no extra cost to you if you do decide to use my code thank you guys so much for supporting my channel i cannot wait to see you guys for the next one bye